and welcome back well I've applied the color to the wings in exactly the same way as I did with the fuselage and as we can see underneath etc we'll just um, try out a quick render well that's not looking too bad still a bit flat on the wings there so that means we're gonna have to start creating our specular maps which means hey popping back into Photoshop let's get cracking here we are in Photoshop and what do we have well I've got my diffuse map and I've got my bump map waiting in the background now as you can see the diffuse map it's exactly the same as it was with the fuselage however now we're going to start creating the specular maps and to do that what I need to do is convert this image change the mode and I'm going to change it to grayscale discard the color say yes then popping back into image mode I want it as RGB color now what I want to do is go back to image adjustments brightness and contrast and I'm gonna bang that right up and same with the contrast and say okay now the specular maps actually works on light which is bounced off of the surface and that's why we've turned this gray and increased the lightness and contrast okay well now that that's done I'm gonna go to the bump map let me just zoom in so I can see this one let me pick that tool as well so we're zooming in there we go we can see our there I keep forgetting this isn't max and I've got to go to the sides here so there we are that's our bump map there okay well what I'm going to do with this now is go to image adjustments and go down to invert now I'm going to pop back up to image adjustments brightness and contrast and I want to increase that brightness and increase the contrast and say OK now with that done I'm going to pop and select the magic wand tool tolerance I'm setting to 3 and now I'm going to select everything now what we've got here is we can see it's selected the outside but we also need to select the inside of the circles and any squares or rectangles that it's not going to either so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more start over here I think and pressing the shift tool as you can see it comes out with a plus on that magic one there I'm just going to pop in and select the intersections of these circles and any rectangles that need it well I'll continue with this and come back in a moment now that all of this is selected what we need to do is actually inverse the selection because at the moment all that's been selected is the black areas so we're going to pop up to select and we're going to say inverse doesn't seem to be any change but if we now say edit and copy we pop into our diffuse layer and now we go up edit paste if we zoom in we can now see there is our white outline of the bump map well we had a bit of a screen freeze there not to worry but I took the liberty of opening up another file which is rubber and that's all it is a big sheet of well rubber okay I'm going to select 
everything select all edit copy pop back into wing go edit paste and now I'm going to put that down in between background and level 1 and with that I'm going to reduce the opacity let's have a look somewhere about there that looks quite good and now that that's done all we're going to do is collapse the layers so layers flatten the image and I want to go file save as and we're going to call this wing UVW spec A and go save say OK to that and now into 3ds Max close that down into our material editor we're looking for the wing section here there it is so I want the specular level click that box there double click on bitmap there it is wing spec A select that let's pop back up one level so we're going to parent and there we are it's set to 100 there you could see it changed straight away okay let's do a render okay let's close it down for a moment bring it around now you can see that specular level actually working in that area as well try another render for that now we've got it set at a hundred and that may be a little bit too much there we go and it is those subtle little changes that you make that start to bring your model alive Okay, let's have a look here bring this specular level down say about 51 do another render there we go it's not as shiny now okay have a look underneath quick render there that's not three bad that is not three bad at all okay so what about the specular color well for that we need to pop back into Photoshop well here we can use our existing image of our wing UVW spec A and let's pop into image adjustments and we'll look at our color balance okay so I'm gonna whack the green up and the red and we get a nice sort of sepia color there interesting um, let's bring that down yellowish let's have a look at shadows hmm that's interesting little too red maybe too green there what about the magenta definitely not quite like that and we're gonna say okay for that with that done I'm now gonna save this save as and I'm gonna call it spec B okay so let's now save that say OK and now if we pop back into 
3DS Max, we can now apply our specular color to our material editor. So double click on bitmap, and there we go, spec B. Say OK on that. Let's come up a level. It's set at 100%. It's thinking about that then. And you may not notice it to begin with. It is just a very, very subtle change. Let's do a quick render. And there we are. I don't know if you can see this, but that now has that greenish sort of cast to it. And it is those little bits, those bits of attention to detail that will make your models stand out from the rest. So the specular color is basically changing the color of the light which is reflected from the surface. Okay, well, mindful of the time, we'll call that it for this session. I'll catch you later. Thank you.